sensor. I, I don't think he's Doug, oh my Doug God! is able to sensor. get the final kill as Sensor is going to go huge for me. What's going on guys? Doug Sensor Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day. And in this video, I'm going to tell you guys why I decided to come back to Call of Duty. So everything for me started to change when I started making collab videos in the Phase House and when I met Yannette. So I owe a lot of my success in this YouTube channel's growth to those two things in my life, going to Mexico and Phase Clan, teaching me everything, collabing with me and, and helping my YouTube channel. And it just got to a point where I saw this opportunity as making YouTube into a career and I really wanted to pursue that. I had the opportunity there and, and I was able to do it. But along the way, I started to realize how much my life was changing, how much I was traveling more, how many more things I was seeing because of this job and how awesome it was. And like, if I look back at the last year and a half, I couldn't ask for anything more. It's just been amazing. But I always get this feeling in my, my brain and in my, my heart whenever I'm going to sleep that I'm, I'm like missing something and something's just not there. And, and it's Call of Duty, it's playing, it's competing. This is like my number one passion. And I love being a YouTuber. Being a YouTuber is awesome, but I don't know what it is. It's just every day I just wake up and I feel like I, I, I lose a purpose in a sense. You know, what video am I gonna make for the day? Is it gonna be a skit video, a food challenge video, a workout video? What am I gonna do? And it just, it, when you do it for like a year and a half every single day, it just gets to a point where you just, you start, I, I don't wanna say like questioning your life or like questioning things that you're doing in your life because, you know, it, it's an awesome dream job, but I just feel like when I'm playing competitive Call of Duty, when, when I'm doing this and I'm, I'm getting on, I'm practicing with the team, I'm going to tournaments, I'm winning tournaments, I just feel like I have so much more of a purpose with my life. And, and the reason why I try to stay away from this is for two reasons. One, because I saw my YouTube channel doing so well and it was growing and I didn't want that to stop. I didn't want to lose this career that I've been working so hard and building over the past two years just for my passion for Call of Duty. And number two, I've been doing something really awesome behind the scenes that took up a lot of time in the past almost year. It's been about a year since I've been working on this project and I knew I'd be a liability to a team. I knew I wouldn't be able to put in the hours to a team and I'd be holding a team back. So I decided to stay away from it for a while, but uh, that project is about done. It's, it's awesome. I can't wait to announce it to you guys. Unfortunately, I got to wait a little more, but I have time and I, I want to play again. I want to give this a second shot. And I want to win the world championship and I think I can do it. So I just decided two nights ago, I'm going to go back into Call of Duty. I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to play the best I possibly can and just see what happens from there. So with that being said, I'm playing with BL Fire. I'm playing with Methods and I'm playing with Examples for MLG Orlando. We'll see how it goes. I'm really excited. This is probably the best last minute option I could have. I'm, I'm comfortable with these guys. I know these guys and I'm, I'm excited. But one of the things I've always feared with going back to competitive Call of Duty is the fact that like, my channel wouldn't do as well. Maybe I would start not gaining as many subscribers in a day. Maybe my videos won't be getting as many views, but I just came to the realization that if I want something in life, that I just have to go out there and do it and, and just not care about what other people say or think. And, and this is just one of those things in my life that I just felt was missing for a long time. So for you guys out there who've been watching me ever since I started YouTube and when I got into competitive Call of Duty, I'm really appreciative of that because that's seriously my favorite thing to do is, is winning Call of Duty tournaments. It's weird and lame and nerdy as that sounds. It's, it's freaking awesome and I love it. And I, I, I just want to see this thing blow up and explode. And it, it's really sad to see the state of Call of Duty and how it like really exploded in Black Ops 2 and Ghosts and where it's been now. But I, I hope that if I'm playing again, I can do my best to make this thing bigger for everybody who watches it, for other people that are involved and want to be playing Call of Duty or winning tournaments and hopefully other people could have careers from this too because you know playing Call of Duty gave me everything I have today and, and I owe it to that you know a lot of people said that I should just never go back to playing Call of Duty and focus more on my YouTube channel but I just know that if I didn't go to Orlando and if I didn't go to Call of Duty XP and I look back at this in time I was gonna regret it and I just don't want to make that mistake I, I want to do the best I can to win the championship I don't know how or why and and what made me do it I just felt like it was the right thing to do and that's why I'm going back to playing so I wanted to say this to you guys because this is what's given me my livelihood you know playing Call of Duty joining FaZe Clan and the opportunities that arose from there are the reason why I'm in these positions today that I'm in and it's it's all thanks to you guys watching my videos so I hope that you guys can continue to support me uh, over the next five weeks hopefully I'll be able to qualify for Call of Duty XP but all I'm focused on right now is Orlando with the team that I have so we're gonna be playing this weekend I hope you guys are excited for it comment down below what you guys think let me know I know this is like more of a just camera face to you know talk with you guys but 
I just felt like this is necessary and the lighting is going to get really bad but this is really necessary for me to say I'm, I'm really happy about this and I have a good feeling I feel really good and I hopefully can do the best I can to win a championship with these guys and, and make you guys proud as well because I know a lot of you guys followed me for Call of Duty in the beginning so that's what I'm going to wrap this video I hope you guys enjoyed if you're excited for me coming back to Call of Duty let me know by smashing the like button on this video seriously guys comment down below what you guys think and it's been your boy Doug Sensor Martin and I'm out guys peace